with what and what she read in the Bible. And in the Bible it says that when you leave as a lady, when you leave and go into your husband's home, their people shall be your people. Their God shall be your God. And she did that. She immersed herself completely into the Marigoli culture and fraternity and family. She was AIC. She moved and converted and she became a Quaker. She never looked back. She looked after her husband and her new families with the utmost of dedication and commitment. To the point, I remember at one time, some years back, when she was still here, is that I, we'd all meet and we're all together and I'll speak to her in the language. And she'll, she'll reply back in English, Swahili, or Murembe, whatever, that language. But when we went to the kitchen, you tell me, okay, you know, I'm not running. I'm going to ask him, I'm going to ask him, how is Mzee? Who knows? How is Mzee doing? So I stand here seriously thanking you all for giving her a wonderful life. And especially the caregiver during her last years. Thank you. We loved this lady. This lady meant a lot to us. And she even looked after us when she used to, when she worked for Mze at uh, Cabernet Garden. She was a housekeeper. So I knew her when I was a very young uh, toddler. And she, uh, every word which has been spoken of her is true. She was quiet, um, self effacing firm, polite, intelligent, charismatic, a pillar, somebody you could rely on, and a giver, a true, true giver, and a person who loved the Lord. So mine is just to say, my sisters, we are together in this journey. We are together today, tomorrow, thereafter, and thank you. I just standing here to say thank you on my behalf, behalf of my family, who I'm representing and will be well represented at, on Saturday, and on behalf of the people of Baringo County, and our people of Eldama Ravine, thank you. Thank you for looking after our Baringo roads. Amen. You will not walk, walk alone. Thank you. God bless you all.